So of course I couldn't just make a video with hair tips and feet and skin and not really show you how I really work the mother. Okay, so what I have really been realizing a lot is a lot of women are having issues at work with their coworkers. And nine out of 10 times it's just one culprit. And you know, like you, then you'll get the minions that follow on behind her. And it, I, it's very rare that you actually will see this happening with the men. But I, I know the issue sometimes in the workplace, the men, some men like to gossip a lot. But it's, it doesn't go as far as how, you know, the women take it. They, they, they get really deep into this and having their clans at work gossiping and talking about you. And, you know, I, I realize that sometimes it's not best to feed in to certain people and, you know, the bullshit and all of the stuff and the drama that they constantly bring to you. But after a while, it's hard to hold your mouth and not say anything to people. And I know sometimes it's just, you know, you just get tired of it. And you, you just want to deal with these bitches and drop them one by one. You will message me and I'll tell you, listen, deal with the main bitch. Once you knock the main bitch down, then everybody else will fall. Because if you're constantly trying to work four and five different bitches gossiping at the job, it's not going to work. Find their power. Find their energy. And that's the main bitch. Destroy her and watch every single one of them be weakened. And that usually is what happened. She feeds them her energy, you know, the bullshit to start for the day, the gossip. When you find one or two gossiping bitch, it's always new bitches that's going to come in and join that clan. They, they, they need that. They love that. They live to come to work to talk shit. Not to work. They don't give a fuck about work. Work never gets done. The, the workplace has turned into a bunch of bashing bitches, dry, no, no love from their husbands, no love from their boyfriends, just unhappy, unworthy bitches. So now they have to come to work and give you hell and you have to learn how to control yourself. And when you go home, you have to say, you know what? I'm going to fuck that bitch up. But not with your hands. You don't want to go to jail. You want to do it with magic. And for those of you that say, oh, there's better ways. Stop what you're doing right now and get off my channel. And have yourself a wonderful blessed day. This is not for you. But for those of you out there that want to hear what I want to say. And you want to do what I want to tell you to do to deal with these women. Then you need to get your pen and paper. You need to get your ingredients. And you need to get your shit together because when you go into work tomorrow, you're going into work. Not to work. You know, nobody does work no more at work. You're going to work. Okay? So what you're going to need, okay, excuse me, what you're going to need is you're going to need the mother, right? You're going to need a jar like this. And you're going to need a lemon. And you're going to need some chili peppers, okay? These chili peppers are mirage chili flakes. Now, I love unfiltered apple cider it's very 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 sour it's going to give you the best 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 jar it honestly is unless you're making your four thieves vinegar you can use this alone and you can work your way into destroying people into the workplace now if your boss is one of the bitches she has to come down there are various ways that you can deal with the bitches on the job and, and a lot of times you want to take it off of you See, they're not working any magic on you. They're just running their fucking mouth. They're talking shit. They're making you feel very little. And you're allowing them to do it. And I have some screws here as well. And then I have this to pour my, um, my oils in and stuff like that. Right? Okay. So let's start. Okay? So the bitches at work bother you. What you need to do is you need to figure out where are spots in your office where... You can leave certain things and no one will find them or move them and it won't be suspect at all. And one of the main places is inside of the break room where that freezer and that refrigerator is the best place. And I know a lot of you know there's always one employee that's in the break room when you come in, when you at lunch and when you leave. It's like she lives in there. We'll deal with her later, okay? 
Now, we want to prepare this. What you need to do is you need to take down the main bitch, okay? Take the main bitch down. And the way you take the main bitch down is you turn all the other bitches on them, on her. Turn them all on each other. Create so much havoc in the workplace that it becomes very uncomfortable for everyone else. The same way you've been feeling uncomfortable, make everyone else uncomfortable. Why not? No one knows the shit you're dealing with. These bitches are talking shit. You're trying not to fuck bitches up and pop their tires in the parking lot. You're trying to not do a lot of shit that you did, you know, when you was in high school and college. You, you're trying to be in your grown woman shit. But then you have these little bitches that you don't even know how they passed the test and, or, or how they got the, the, you know, the job. How did, what are they doing there? They're, they're so stupid. Like, what are you, what are you doing with a job? Besides, that's besides the point. Okay. So, because then I'll get off topic and we'll start talking about stupid bitches all day. So now the bitches have to turn on each other. And you have to make a hostile work environment for everyone there. And the best way to do that is to make this jar. All right, the screws is to screw things up. Man, everybody is going to be all screwing with each other. And let me tell you something. The organic vinegar is going to be at its best when it's sitting there simmering with these bitches that you're going to put in there. So you're going to write the bitch's name on this paper okay whatever her name is head bitch right her job id number down her email address if you got a picture of her you can take real quick the main bitch is going to go right in the middle okay you're going to fold the main bitch away the main bitch goes in the bottle the main bitch goes in here and you need to make her fight with at least two of the other bitches so there's always a main bitch and then a bitch underneath the main bitch and then a bitch underneath the main, the main bitch, main bitch. Okay. So there's like always three of them that you'll see rolling heavy deep together. And then you got the little followers. So all three of them will go in here together. Okay. Not only will all three of them go in there together, but you need to find somebody in the department that you need to take on the bullshit so now you can easily go to the boss you can go through you know one of the managers you can go through consider we're gonna put we're gonna put um five people in this jar and we're gonna put five people in this jar and it, it is gonna pull in a lot of energy but guess what all of that energy that the jar is going to require and suck out of it's gonna have to suck it out of somewhere and the best place to suck it out of is at the job this jar is going to want so much energy. It's going to create heaviness in there. You're going to feel the animosity when you come into work. Because if you ever work a jar, you know how much energy it takes from you. You know how drained you feel when you're at the bottom of that jar working it for almost nine days. I've known some people to work their jars 21 days and they look dead at the end of it because they have overworked this jar. A jar does its job. Okay. You work that jar. And then you dispose of the jar to do its job. And then there's some jars that you can create. And then you can just place them somewhere. And they will still do their job. And you can back it up as well with your black candles. Whatever other candles you want to use. So now. After you have placed the three main bitches in there. You're going to place also. Possibly. A department manager. I don't. I'll just give you an example. Say right now you work, we work at. Um. Say right now you're working at the bank, so you, you'll place the supervisor in there and you'll place another random person that they have no business beefing with that's not going to take their shit. So you got five people at the office fighting. That's a lovely way. Another option is to write down the name of the job, the address, and in the back of that petition paper, if you don't want to do five main people, Everybody at the job is going to get the bullshit. Everybody's going to fight. You want to, you can create this jar also to make everybody fight. There'll be misery everywhere. I want to focus on the five people because these three main bitches will be the ones that are harassing you, bothering you. You don't have to put five. You can put three. 
okay? But then you're going to have three bitches fighting with each other. You need everybody in there to see how much anger these five people are having around each other. That something has to happen and most of the time it's going to be them getting fired. They have to get fired. Okay? These chili peppers are going to create the heat. Alright? Once you got the heat, you're going to pour your apple cider vinegar inside of there. And what I want you to do is, I want you to place this jar into the freezer at work. Yes. I don't want you to do nothing else with this. Place this into the freezer. That's the best place to put this. You know why? Because everybody goes into the break room. Shake it up well, curse it. Couple of days with them screws in there and everything. You got yourself a nice jar right there. You're gonna put that in the freezer at work, right? Then what you're going to do is you're gonna take, you're gonna take this lime right here. You're gonna poke a bunch of holes all over it, all over it. And then you're gonna make your normal slit. With your normal slit, you're going to place the name of the top bitch inside of here, right in between there, right? Then you're going to take the apple cider vinegar and you're going to pour it all over this and let it soak in so much of that sourness that it's going to be really unbelievable. Like the results that you're going to get from the lime soaking in all of that vinegar is going to be crazy. Once it has soaked in at least 24 hours, you want to let it sit there. You're going to wrap it with saran wrap, saran wrap. Okay. Put this into the freezer at the job that's where you need to watch out for the bitch that's always in the break room don't let anyone see what you're doing at all and don't let anyone see you placing this jar into the freezer either you need to freeze both of them into the job that's the only way that you're going to get the results that you need you need to if you're gonna if you're gonna place it by her desk and she's gonna find it. You're not gonna get no results. You don't, you need to, it needs to be very, very close into the office. And if you cannot place it into the office, then I recommend you not to do it. You have five people simmering, simmering in there. And if you're gonna do a whole job simmering in there, guess what? That's a lot of energy you pulling out of yourself. You don't need this in your house. You don't need to work this in your house at all. Once you make it, you shake it up really well and it needs to sit in the freezer. Not the refrigerator, it needs to sit in the freezer. There are no other alternatives to place in this. So don't ask me, can I place it inside the fridge? Can I place it under my desk for now? No, it has to go in the freezer. If you cannot deal with the effects of magic, please don't do it. 